Hi everyone, my name is Emily and I'm the program manager for the National Student Data Corps. Welcome to the NSDC Data Science Flashcard video series. In this video, we'll be discussing standard deviation. But first, let's start with a definition. The standard deviation measures how spread out the values in a data set are from the mean or average of the data set. It quantifies the amount of variation or dispersion in your data. So let's look at how we would calculate for it. First, we need to start with some formulas. On the left-hand side of the screen, you can see the formula for standard deviation of a population. This is when you have all of the data for an entire population. On the right side of the screen, you'll see the formula for the standard deviation of a sample. This is when you only have a subset of data from your population. It's to be noted that in both of these formulas, you'll see an X. That represents each individual data point in your population or in your sample. Mu, or X bar, represents the mean of your data. Mu typically representing the mean for a population, and X bar representing the mean for your sample. And N you'll see in both formulas as well. That is your sample size, also known as the total number of data points either in your population or in your sample. So let's dive into an example. Let's calculate the standard deviation for a sample of test scores. So here we can see five test scores. So we know that our sample size is five and each of our data points, 85, 90, 88, 92, and 78. The first step in calculating the standard deviation will be to calculate the mean or X bar of our data set. So we'll see here that we add up all of our data points and divide by our sample size, which we know is five. When we do that, we can see that the average or the mean of our data set is 86.6. The second step in solving for the standard deviation will be to calculate the squared differences from the mean for each data point. So simply, we are trying to solve for the distance between each data point in our sample and the mean. So in order to do this, we'll simply subtract the mean from each of the data points in our sample, which you can see here. Then we will square each of the differences we just solved for. Now we need to calculate the sum of these squared differences. So let's add up all of the numbers that we just calculated. The sum of our squared differences is equal to 101.2. The last step will be to divide by n minus one and to take the square root of that answer. Since this is a sample with five data points, n minus one will be equal to four. So here you can see that we're taking the square root of 101.2 over four. Once we complete this calculation, we can see that the standard deviation for this sample of test scores is approximately 5.03. If the data points in our sample were closer to the mean and less dispersed, our standard deviation would have been smaller. If they were further from the mean and more dispersed, our standard deviation would have been larger. Thank you all so much for watching. Please follow along with the rest of the NSDC flashcard video series to learn more.